Hi, I'm Jack. Today I'm going to show you how to regain access to any Wi-Fi network that you have been blocked from. I do not take any credit on your actions and what you use this on or for. All the steps and commands will be in the description. First, open up settings to locate your original MAC address. It should be right there. You now have to open up Terminal, the Mac version of CMD. You are going to have to type in sudo, which makes you the control user, and any commands you type in can change your computer's files. Typing in ifconfig will now show your network status. Press enter and type in your password. This will now show you all the network interfaces that your computer has. These are the main internet interfaces. The one that the computer is using should have the MAC address shown in settings. The MAC address is your computer's identification and is what the Wi-Fi networks use to find and send you the data packets that you requested. Copy your MAC address from settings for a 100% guaranteed success and return to terminal and type in sudo ifconfig. After that, you are going to have to type in your network interface that your internet is on. If you didn't memorize that, you can always scroll up. Follow that with ether. You are then going to have to paste in the MAC address that you copied from settings. So that you can regain access, you need to change it. I recommend to change the second last number or letter. So if it's an A, put in B. If it's a 7, put in 8. I don't recommend fiddling with it too much due to the formula it runs off. Now, turn off your Wi-Fi and then turn it back on again and you should now receive normal internet access. To see your changed MAC address, type into terminal ifconfig. This should reload the interfaces list and in EN0, you should see that your MAC address has been changed. You can do the same process to change it back. When you reboot your Mac, this sadly will be turned off. You'll have to go back into Terminal. And all you need to do this time is press the up key. This will show your last thing you typed into Terminal. You can continue pressing the up key to show previous things. Although, if they block your new Mac address, which you just changed to, you have to do the same process, but with a totally different Mac address. This works because what the network administrators block is your MAC address, not your computer name. So, if you change that, you can bypass the ban they placed on your particular MAC address. You can subscribe and like if you would like to see some more videos on network penetration testing, also known as white hat hacking. I will then be able to go into far more detail on what to do and why it is doing that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.